So for our ease of communication, I write f x equal to m u dot plus q w minus r v f y equal to m v dot plus u r minus w p and f z equal to m w dot minus u q plus v p. We have not asked this question, what are these f x, f y, f z composed of? We will come to that question. We have more focused on the right hand side, what are the kinematics part. Okay. Now, we have to also handle the other equation, which is the moment equation. So, let us do that. So, let us come in this session and let us try to find out the expression for moment, moment equation. In last lecture, we have seen f x, f y, f z can be expressed as this and we are very clear, we have not, talk, not talked about what are this f x, f y, f z, the external impressed force on the airplane composed of. We will discuss that also. Let us first handle the moment equation. As you know, if everything was with respect to inertial frame, then this is nothing but we have to operate like this. But since now we are working in rotating frame, so we use this concept m, I can write it as d by d h by d t evaluated at body frame or rotating frame plus omega cross h. It is so mechanical now. And you know the expression of h, where right here h is h x, h x will be, uh, let me see and write. P i x minus q i x y minus r i y z. This is vector I write i plus minus p i x y. You can check my last lecture i y y minus r i y z. This is j. Similarly, minus p i x z minus q i y z plus r i z z, this is k. So, this is the h vector we have derived already. I have to simply put this expression here with understanding omega is nothing but p i plus q j plus r k. Do this operation and write m as m x i plus m y j plus m z k that is equal to this expression that is this right hand side you will get when you substitute for h this i this j and this k omega is this this vector operation and d h by d t like a scalar differentiation you will do and that is equal to the vector m and for aeronautical use, for m x, we call it rolling moment, rolling moment that is moment about x axis, aircraft x axis. This is aircraft x axis, aircraft y, y axis, body fixed axis, z axis. So, m x is rotation of the body about x axis like this and the convention is, if I fly with the machine and right wing going down, that is m x positive, rolling moment positive. Okay. So, this is also denoted as L, denoted by L. M y is at pitching moment, denoted by m, and you understand pitching moment means motion about y axis, that is airplane I am moving like this, this is pitching moment. And by convention, if I am flying with the machine, 
nose up is positive, nose up is negative. Notation used in aerospace is M and M z, which is yawing moment. denoted by n at the moment about z axis. Where is the z axis? This is x, this is y and this is z. So, this is this is yawing moment okay? and convention wise if the right wing is going back this that is this airplane I am flying with the machine right wing going back this yawing moment is a positive yawing moment. If right if left wing is going back that is negative yawing moment. So, these are L m n. So, whatever expression I get from here, I will write L i plus m j plus n k equal to d h by d t plus omega cross h. I substitute this expression and I will get final expression as what we are looking for, I will get L equal to I x x p dot minus I x z r dot plus q r I z minus I y minus I x z p q. Let me check i x x p dot minus i x z r dot plus q r i z minus i y minus i x z p q. Then m I will get as i y y q dot plus r p i x x minus i z z plus i x z p square minus r square. Similarly, n I will get as minus i x z p dot plus i z z r dot plus p q into i y y minus i z z plus i x z q r. I again repeat you please substitute this and this expression and see indeed you get this sort of an expression or not. You may be wondering what is this i y z, i y z and i x y vanish. So, we have assumed x z, we have assumed here x z as plane of symmetry which is not a bad assumption plane of symmetry and hence by definition i y z identically equal to i x y equal to 0. So, those terms do not appear in this expression. Okay. So, what we have got by doing all these things? We have got expression for f x f y f z in terms of its motion variable u dot q r w etcetera. We got the moment equation in terms of p dot r dot etcetera all are here, but we have not addressed this question what are this f x f y f z or m n and l l m n. Because you know, whatever big big expression we write, if f equal to m a, what is our aim? Why you are doing all these things? If I know what is f, if I know the inertia property, I can find a, the acceleration. If I can know a, I can integrate it to get velocity. If I know velocity, I can integrate to get position. The complete motion I will be able to describe in a translation motion. Similarly, moment equal to i alpha, alpha is the angular acceleration. So, I can easily find out their behavior in terms of motion, rotation etcetera, etcetera. That is the purpose. That is why you see the pitching moment. Suppose, imagine there is no r 
and P. What is what is this R and P? Please understand before we mechanically use all these things. What is P? P is the angular velocity about x axis rolling P. P is doing like this, right? About x axis. What is R? R is the yaw rate about z axis. What is Q? Is the pitching rate, right? Angular velocity about y axis. Now imagine if I have a system where which is not doing yawing, not doing rolling, only pitching, right? That means not doing yawing means r is zero, not doing rolling means p is zero. So this term vanishes. Anyway, p and r are zero. This vanishes. So what is m? What is this m is doing? M here is the pitching moment. Whatever pitching moment about y axis is happening, that is only changing the q dot pitch rate. Okay, but if they are not zero, that is the most difficult situation. But the airplane will have so many things. So this pitching moment will contribute towards R, P, etc. In a manner which is, which sometimes, unless you catch it properly, it may create a very divergent solution. The airplane may go into dynamic instability. Similarly, you see here this how much contribution of R and P cross that is product of yaw rate and roll rate, they are going to create a, a contribution in the dynamics decided not only by their magnitude, but also what is the difference in the moment of inertia i z z and i x s. Right? Okay. So, all these attentions are necessary, because many times you will find this value of i x s, i z z for a combination of r p and q, also i x z this will try to make the system more complex. We say it will make the system coupled. That is, a pitching will give yawing, yawing will give pitching, like that. You know. So, we say these are the consequence of inertia coupling. Okay. Similarly, in aerodynamics, it is also possible. If there is angle of attack, if I go on increasing angle of attack, there will be a flow separation, this vortices, and that will give a yawing moment. So, that is called aerodynamic coupling. These two types of coupling are very predominant when I am talking about high performance airplane. That is why each by term by term we should understand. We have written all this expression mechanically or very mono, very in a most boring way in my language. But can I get a juice out of it? Can I get a forewarning out of it? This is out of these equations. If you can catch those things, you have won the ninety percent of the battle. Okay. So, let us now again divert our attention to f x, f y and f z. Question I am asking is, what are these forces composed of? We know these, these are the external impressed force on the airplane and they may act at different points. For example, if the airplane, if there is a thrust here, coming to the engine, this force point of application is here, majority of the drag, some point here, drag at the vertical tail will be here, there is a landing gear, it will experience a drag, there will be lift, so many things will happen, right? there will be moment. So, we are talking about f x, f y, f z, so we know now from this diagram that f x will have f x because of aerodynamics or aerodynamic force, then f x component will come because of propulsion, then very importantly f x will be because of gravity. The f x will have three components primarily, similarly f y also will have primarily three component f y aerodynamic, f y propulsive, f y gravitational g. Similarly, f z is f z aerodynamic, f z propulsive and f z gravity. You may get little mixed up where from f x gravity will come, my plane is like this. You may think 
the my airplane is flying like this this is my x this is my y this is my z mg that is f mg is acting like this downward but where from fx will come question may come please understand in generic case the airplane could be in this direction or orientation sometime now the x axis will be this because they are body fixed so now this is the gravity force mg now you could see there will be a component of this force along x direction right that is how we have to find out the component of mg gravity force along x y z direction at different orientation of the airplane but we have not discussed how do i define the orientation of the airplane right so you need to know in space how do i define what is the orientation we have not discussed about it unless you know the orientation how do i find out what are the component of gravity force that means we are getting a pre alarm let us clarify what are how do i get the orientation of the airplane in space we will do that in next lecture let us come back to the aerodynamic force fx you could see here there will be drag there will be lift So depending upon the orientation which we have not discussed how to find the orientation of the airplane in space but depending on the orientation lift drag all this component will have its contribution towards x y z direction similarly propulsive over there you put the engine here whether you put the engine here and whether you put the engine at some setting angle right Very difficult to put them at zero. Instead of putting the engine, some setting angle is there that will give some component along x, y, z direction. So that is where we need to find out f x, f y, f z along x, y, z direction. Primarily, contribution will be there because of aerodynamic, propulsive, and gravity forces. Since there is a force, there is a point of application. It will have a. It will manifest through moment. So we'll have moment along x direction, moment along y direction, moment along z direction, which will be primarily aerodynamic in nature, propulsive in nature, and what about gravity? Gravity will not come because we will be finding moment about center of gravity, center of mass, and the since the gravity force passes through that point, so gravity will not contribute anything towards moment. Okay. So for moment. contribution will be primarily aerodynamic and propulsive but if you want to find out those components we have realized through discussion we need to know the orientation of the airplane and we have not discussed about orientation of the airplane but we now realize it is extremely important to quickly understand how do i define the orientation of the airplane so as i am telling our next step will be toward understanding that before i go to that i come back to this equation again you realize that m n and l these are the moments which are aerodynamic propulsive and aerodynamic and propulsive in nature and you see that there are i axes i z z product of two angular rates has something like gyroscopic contribution we we'll realize this as we unfold each term and try to understand what is the meaning of that okay thank you